At the end of this topic, you will be able to define pure substances, define element, atom and molecule, discuss the elements existing in nature, explain the relative abundance of elements in Earth's crust, discuss the elements found in human body, explain the elements in living beings, classify the elements, explain the elements around us. A pure substance means that it is free from adulteration. The air we breathe and the milk we drink are not pure air we breathe in a mixture of grasses. Milk is a mixture that contains liquid fat, protein and water. A pure substance has fixed composition and fixed properties which cannot be easily separated by physical methods. Example, distilled water, sugar, baking soda, copper used in electric wiring, etc. A pure substance can be identified by its properties such as density, melting point, refractive index, electrical conductivity and viscosity. Pure water boils at 100 degrees Celsius at one atmospheric pressure and ice freezes at 0 degrees Celsius. Pure water contains only two hydrogen and an oxygen which cannot be separated by physical methods. Types of pure substances A pure substance is either an element, example ion, or a compound, example sodium chloride. List any five substances you consider pure. List any five substances you consider pure. Pure water, table salt, carbon dioxide, diamond, sugar. What is an element? Boyle defined an element is a pure substance that cannot be split into anything simple by physical or chemical methods. Lavoisier defined an element is the basic form of matter that cannot be broken into a simpler substance. Modern atomic theory defined an element is made of same kind of atoms. Examples of elements are hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, carbon, aluminium, gold, silver, sulfur, copper wires, etc. A lump of sulfur contains sulfur atoms only. Nitrogen contains atoms of nitrogen only. Copper wires contains only copper atoms. An atom is the smallest particle of an element. A molecule is made up of the same kind of atoms or different kind of atoms. All elements are made up of one kind of atom only. However, atoms of different elements are not identical. Copper and silver are elements. They differ from each other in size and internal structure. A complex substance like mercuric oxide is broken down into simpler substances, mercury and oxygen. It is not possible to split these substances any further by any other chemical method. Unscramble the following words given in the brackets. Water conveying pipes are made up of O-N-I-R. Electric wire contains P-P-E-R-C-O. Ornaments are made of L-D-G-O. The air we breathe consists of Y G E N O X. Coal contains R B O N C A. The answer is water conveying pipes are made of iron. Electric wire contains copper. Ornaments are made of gold. The air we breathe consists of oxygen. Coal contains carbon. Perform the experiment and record your observation. Materials required mercuric oxide, test tube, Bunsen burner glowing splinter procedure take a little amount of mercuric oxide in a test tube heat it first gently and then strongly in a bunsen flame observe the test tube insert a glowing splinter into the test tube record your observations observations while heating a silver mirror gradually appearing on upper part of the test tube and later globules of mercury is seen the flame of splinter brightens showing the presence of oxygen Mercuric oxide, when heated, undergoes thermal decomposition to give mercury and oxygen. Perform the experiment and record your observation. Materials required, silver chloride, silver bromide, watch glass. Procedure, take a small amount of crystals of silver chloride on a watch glass. Note its color. Place this watch glass under sunlight for some time. Observe the color of silver chloride after some time. Repeat the same procedure with silver bromide. White silver chloride turns grey in sunlight. This is due to the decomposition of silver chloride into silver and chlorine by light. White silver chloride gives sunlight silver grey plus chlorine yellow green. Light yellow silver bromide turns grey in sunlight. This is due to the decomposition of silver bromide into silver and bromide by light. Silver bromide in sunlight gives silver plus bromine. 
There are 118 elements known at present, out of which 92 elements occur in nature, and the remaining 26 have been prepared in laboratories by artificial methods. It is shown in pink color in the periodic table. However, only 112 elements have been authenticated by International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry and are allotted symbols. The relative abundance of various elements in Earth's crust, either as free state or in the combined state, are given as pi diagram. In Earth's crust, oxygen is the most abundant element followed by silicon. These two make up three quarters of the Earth's crust. About 99% of the mass of human body is made up of six elements. They are oxygen, carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, calcium and phosphorus and the rest 1% by other elements. Both plants and animals are made of oxygen 65%, carbon 18%, hydrogen 10%, nitrogen 3%, calcium 2% along with some other elements. Hydrogen and helium are the main elements in the universe and stars. It is classified into solid, liquid and gas. Examples, solids, carbon, silicon, copper, gold, etc. Liquids, mercury, bromine, cesium and gallium. Gases, hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, chlorine, fluorine, helium, neon, argon, krypton, radon and xenon. Classification of elements based on properties. They are metals, non-metals and metalloids. Metals. Of the 92 natural elements, 70 elements are metals. Metals are hard, lustrous, shining in appearance, malleable, can be beaten into very thin sheet, ductile, drawn into wire, good conductors of heat and electricity, and sonorous, producing sound. Example, copper, gold, silver, iron, etc. Non-metals. Only about 16 to 17 elements are soft. Non-lustrous, non-malleable, non-ductile, bad conductors of heat and electricity and non-sonorous. Example, hydrogen, oxygen, sulfur, carbon, etc. Metalloids. Very few semi-metals are known as metalloids, which shows properties of metals as well as non-metals. Example, boron, silicon, germanium, etc. About 20% of the Earth's oxygen produced by the Amazon forests. An ounce of gold can be stretched into a wire of 80 kilometers, 50 miles long. The amount of carbon in the human body is enough to fill 9,000 lead pencils. The noble gas xenon lasers can cut through materials that even diamond-tipped blades will not cut. An average adult body contains 250 grams of salt. The metal with the highest melting point is tungsten, 3,410 degrees Celsius. Find the most abundant element from the pi diagram. Oxygen is the most abundant element in the Earth's crust of 46.6%. In this topic, you have learnt, a pure substance has fixed composition and fixed properties which cannot be easily separated by physical methods. An element is made of same kind of atoms. An atom is the smallest particle of an element. A molecule is made up of the same kind of atoms and different kind of atoms. There are 118 elements known at present out of which 92 elements occur in nature and the remaining 26 have been prepared in laboratory by artificial methods. In Earth's crust, oxygen is the most abundant element followed by silicon. On the basis of state, elements are subdivided as solids, liquids and gases. On the basis of properties, elements are metals, non-metals and metalloids. At the end of the topic, you will be able to define symbols, write symbols of elements, explain various representation of symbols, list the significance of symbols, describe the systems to write symbols. Every chemical change can be conveniently represented in the form of a chemical equation. A chemical change describing with the names of substances is difficult, so we need symbols for an element. It is more convenient to use the shortened forms instead of writing down long names. Similarly, in chemistry, symbols are used to represent names of elements. A symbol is a shortened form of the name of an element. Greek symbols Some earlier symbols in the form of geometrical shapes were used by the ancient Greeks to represent the four elements, earth, air, fire and water. Alchemist symbols in the days of alchemists, pictorial symbols were used to represent the different materials. The work of trying to change less valuable metal into gold was called alchemy, and the men who did this were alchemists. Dalton's symbol In 1808, John Dalton, English scientist, tried to name the various elements based on these pictorial symbols. The uses of these symbols are difficult to draw and inconvenient to use. Hence, Dalton's symbols are not used. It is only of historical importance. Berzelius symbols 
In 1813, John Jacob Berzelius, a Swedish chemist, devised a system using letters of alphabets. He argued that letters should be used because they could be written more easily than other signs. System for determining symbols of the elements. The symbols of the most common elements, mainly nonmetals, use the first letter of their English name. If the name of the element has the same initial letter as another element, then symbol uses the first and second letters of their English name. If the first two letters of the names of the elements are the same, then the symbol consists of the first letter and second or third letter of the English name that they do not have in common. Some symbols are based on the old names or Latin names of the elements. There are 11 elements. Names of some elements are derived from important country, scientist, color, mythological character or planets. Name Americium, symbol AM, name derived from America, country. Name European, symbol EU, name derived from Europe, country. Name Nobelium, symbol NO, name derived from Alfred Nobel, scientist. Name Iodine, symbol I, name derived from Violet, color Greek. Name Mercury, symbol HG, name derived from God Mercury, mythologic character. Name Plutonium, symbol PU, name derived from Pluto, planet. Name Neptunium, symbol NP, name derived from Neptune, planet. Name Uranium, symbol U, name derived from Uranus, planet. If the element has a single English letter as a symbol, it should be written in capital letter. For elements having two letter symbols, the first letter should be in capital followed by small letter. Symbol of an element signifies name of the element, one atom of the element. For example, the symbol N stands for the element of nitrogen, one atom of nitrogen. Make cards as instructed and then form a small group with your classmates to play. Prepare 15 cards with the names of elements written on them and 15 cards with their corresponding symbols. Hydrogen, calcium, arsenic, sodium, mercury, oxygen, argon, chlorine, gold, magnesium, copper, helium, chromium, iron and manganese. Shuffle the 30 cards and place the cards face down on the table. Start the game. Each player will get a chance of taking two cards at a time to see. If the player does not get the correct pair, then he or she should keep the cards in the original position. If the name and symbol of the cards match correctly, then he or she can show to all the players and can keep the correct pairs of cards with him or her. If correct pairs are shown, the players will get another chance until the player makes a wrong match. The game will continue till all the cards are taken up. The winner is the one having maximum number of cards. Analyze the number of elements, if any, present in your name. Name, Gautam, written as G-A-U-T-A-M. Elements, Gralium, Uranium, Americium. Name, Arun, written as A-R-U-N. Elements, Argon, Uranium, Nitrogen. In this topic, you have learned... A symbol is a shortened form of the name of an element. The ancient Greeks used Greek symbols to represent the four elements, earth, air, fire and water. Alchemists used pictorial symbols to represent the elements. Symbol of an element signifies name of the element, one atom of the element.